Hi, I'm Madison. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a brand new weekly reading vlog for you. So, I'm currently in Mexico. Um, I'm on vacation this week. Very exciting. This I'm currently actually on day two of like being at the resort, but I didn't update yesterday because I didn't feel like it. So, I read Broken Bonds by Jay Bree yesterday. I read the whole book in one go. Oh my god, it was so good. It just took me a hot second to get like into it just because there was like a lot going on on the beach and like I couldn't fully focus, but then I just like put my headphones in and just like <laughs> sat by myself and read um, and love the shit out of it. So I didn't actually know what this series was about when I went into it, but it's one that I've been told like a bunch that I would really enjoy just because I like why choose romances and I like omega verse kind of vibes with like there being kind of supernatural things, but I also love fantasy romance, but I'm also like, I haven't had really the best time with like a lot of like super high fantasy things lately. So everyone was like, you will love this series, trust me. And they were correct, because I just finished the first book and I'm like, I want to continue with this series. Will this just turn into like a Bonds That Tie reading vlog? Probably, because I'm probably going to read all six books while I'm here and just like devour them. Anyway, what this series is about, now that I know, because I <laughs> didn't even know what this was about when I started it, to be quite honest. This series, The Bonds That Tie, um, you're following Ollie and she has been on the run for the last five years from her Bonds. Um, and there are people in this world that are ungifted and gifted and gifted people have like powers and that can be elemental powers, shifters, all these different things. I'm still really learning the whole magic system in this, um, but they're gifted people and gifted people have kind of like Omega vs. Bondy kind of situations where there is one person who is the central bond, who's like the central person, and then they, they have bonds. So like... But those bonds aren't bonded together. They're only bonded to the central person. And then that person <laughs> bonds with their bonds. Why is it all the same word? The person can, the central bond, when she bonds with her bonds, they become bonded. And when you're bonded, it heightens your powers even more. And you're like connected and to bond, like to be bonded, you have to like, it's like a sexual thing that kind of happens between you and your bonds. Um, but if you never bond with your, but if you never become bonded with your, but if you never become bonded with your bonds, then they'll never get that extra power, basically. It's kind of like a mating bond almost, cause like you are like faded mates basically, and you're like soulmates, like there's no, like you can't really pick and choose. Um, so you're following Ollie, she's been running from her bonds for five years. We didn't know why she'd been on the run. We don't know what her power, well I now know what her power is after finishing, well we actually don't even fully know what her power is after finishing the first book, but she basically has been on the run for five years after her mum passes, like her mum died, um, and her mum's bonds all died as well, and then something happened. And now she's been on the run for five years from her bonds and like has been like keeping her her gift her magic like sealed away because it's so dangerous and if she lets her magic out it will put everyone that like all of her bonds in danger because of how powerful she is and that's all that we knew and when the book starts off she ends up getting basically she's finally been tracked down by one of her bonds and like has basically been captured and like is now like her like prisoner but not really like a prisoner but like yes a prisoner of her bond and she's got I think four or five bonds, I think. And so her one of the, the most influential ones she has is North Draven. Both of the Draven brothers are her bonds. Um, North, so there's North Draven, Nox Draven, there's Gabe, Griffin, and Atlas. Okay, got this, okay. So Nox and North are brothers, and they're like part of the West Coast Council, or like the Southern, Ca they're part of the council, one of the sectors of the United States, okay? They're super powerful, super influential. You've got Atlas, and he is the only one who's not there with her at the time. He's attending university on the East Coast, and he is part of like the East Coast Council, so he's also super powerful, influential, but just not there. And then Gabe is on the football team, and he is a shifter. And then Griffin is a really hot motorcycle dude, okay? <laughs> um, and it's like very like stoic. And, he's, and he can, um, detect like lies which is really cool and so you've got all all those guys plus her and when she gets captured by basically North's people um, he enlists her in Draven University so she can like actually complete school she's like 19 Knox is actually one of her professors but apparently that's not like a conflict of interest but it is a conflict of interest because Knox is like actually a dick and like he's like a legitimate dick like no like there's no ifs, ands, or buts. 
but they all hate her. Well, no, Atlas doesn't hate her, but all, so Gabe, Griffin, Knox, and North all hate her because she ran away. And they don't know why she ran away. They don't know why she rejected being bonds with them. They don't know why she's done all this stuff. And they all think that she's ungifted because of the fact that she says that she has no magic and she's keeping her magic like so tamped down. So they all hate her. She's now attending this university and everyone at the university also hates her because they are all like in love with who her like men are. Like everyone loves who her men are. So they're like, oh my God, you're so like, like a reject, blah, blah, blah. So she gets bullied. But then she makes a best friend, obviously, in the first day, who's also a pariah at the school, and that's Sage. And Sage is an elemental, a flame elemental. We love fire magic. Um, and basically, what this series is about is you find out there's these people called the Resistance who are basically, like, they capture people who are really gifted, who are, like, super strong, and, like, basically... That's all I know about the resistance, to be quite honest. Um, so that's what's kind of going on. So the first book focuses on her first being captured and her kind of getting to know her bonds and all of her bonds hating her, except for Atlas, who's like so sweet. I love Atlas so much. He just like, he texts her and he sends her like a secret phone so she can text him and talk to him. And he's like, I don't really care. Like, I know that you probably had your reasons for why you ran away. I know that you can't tell us why you ran away, but like, I trust you, like you're my bond, like whatever you need, I'm here for. And she's like, I still plan on running away because like it's dangerous for me to be around you guys, but I can't run away since I have a GPS tracker that was forcibly implanted into me thanks to North. Um, and North is such a dick. He like keeps her basically imprisoned. He's like, I'm giving you everything you want. And she's like, what? Well, not really, because I'm a prisoner. He like has a curve. He, he is so like, I don't know if he's just so rich that he's just dumb. But like, yeah, Knox is just a dick and he is like a huge playboy and keeps like being around other chicks and like it does affect her because it is like a mating bond. So like she does get like jealous and feel these pulls, but has to like ignore them because she can't afford to bond with them. Um, and then like Gabe is like kind of her tail the whole time she's at school since he's also attending the school. And so he like follows her around and it's kind of like a friendship there, but not really a friendship there. And then Griffin is just like stoic in a way. But um, basically... I actually really adore Griffin. He grows on you so much so quickly in the book once he actually like is in it and it's so good. I like actually adore him. Um, and I'm just not doing the shit out of it. This series has reminded me a little bit to be quite honest of the Plated Prisoner series by Raven Kennedy. So I think if you also enjoyed that, but like why choose romances and this is definitely gonna be up your alley as well. And I'm really excited and I love, I love the f female friendship though between Sage and Ollie because like it's such a nice and beautiful female friendship and I feel like you don't always get that in some of these books. I feel like sometimes there's just complete girl hate everywhere and I'm really glad there is at least a strong central female friendship. And I hope that we get like maybe one or two other ones, but I'm happy with how it is right now. And I'm so excited for the rest of the romances. And I'm so excited for her to be super badass. And there's almost like there's a scene where she gets a period, okay? And Griffin has like kind of healing magic and he just like cuddles up to her and like puts his hand on her and like it takes <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, here's my credit card so you can buy everything that you need to get, like, because no, North is a dick and it's like, I'm not taking you to the drugstore, blah, 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 blah. She's like, I need pain medication. And it, oh, oh, it was so good. So, um, yeah, okay. That's my update for now. As I think of other things, I will update you guys. But I'm going to head down to the beach again and read book two. Catch you guys up later. So we just want to do a quick little bitty bitty update. Um, that is the fact that I am almost done with the second book. I've got like five minutes left of it, but I'm about to head out now to the pool. So I wanted to just quickly do an update. And that is the fact that, oh my God, it is so good. So, so far what we do now, actually, I wonder if I can go outside. I wonder if it's not too loud. Let's see. Let me take you guys outside first and see if I can do a little clip like this. Probably not. Now it's a bit too sunny, but I'm just going to show you guys because it's really pretty and nice. <laughs> my update is the fact that I'm loving it. It has been absolutely, oh shit. 
amazing um so much is going on with the second one i don't think i've said it enough but i absolutely adore gabe gabe is like the sweetest little nugget you will ever meet in your entire life he is like the cutest little patootie love him to death the second one definitely delves a lot more into not even just her magic but all of the guys because of the fact that she's you know bonds with them she wants to be around their sense all the time and so because of that like she now has to spend like each night in one of their beds because like she needs to be around them since she won't actually bond to them this is also like a megaverse because at around about the 70 percent mark she does like become bond dead with one of them i'm not going to spoil who but she does um and that's so cute and then like it's a whole like mind speak thing so you can speak into other's minds which is more like in a megaverse or something happens this is more like a regular like fae mating bond where you can like speak in each other's minds think of like think of like reese and Feyre how they can like mind speak um which is really adorable and cute and so that happens and i love who she ended up bonding with it was the first spice scene we also got so you don't really get any spice until 70 percent of the second book as an FYI but um it was very nicely done very great um got a lot of uh -huh -huh action now she did have her v-card in so she lost her v-card she gave her v-card away was it messy oh, yeah yeah not gonna get into that um also I know that I said that she spends a night in each and every single one of their rooms. She's when she goes to Knox's room, who, you know, I'm still unsure about how I'm feeling about him because of the whole weird CNC thing. But um his room is a library. He like said fuck it to his bedroom and literally lofted his bed like to the ceiling and then just has books everywhere instead so his bedroom is a library which is amazing we love that yeah i don't really know where we're gonna go from here she does have i think i mentioned it before but she has like a gps tracker in her and so it seems like there's some things going on with that right now if she tries to take it out it's gonna blow her up so um you know we're gonna see where this ends up going but i'm really adoring it it's going very very well also just want to say um someone not our main chicky but our friend her friend who is a fire elemental had sex and actually burnt down a building from how much she you know so it's so funny because the girl's brother is like wow i didn't realize that davenport's dick was that good to burn down a building <laughs> And I thought that was absolutely hilarious. It was so good. But I absolutely, like, she has become a really, like, big badass in this book a lot because of the fact that she's, like, now that she has her gift out, she's, like, not afraid of, like, using it for certain things. And also her gift kind of, like, she doesn't have as much control of it now that she's let it kind of come out. And, like, now whenever one of her bonds is, like, hurt or something like that, like, it reaches out to, like, heal them and stuff, which is super cute. But, yeah, I'm loving it. I finally also now know what all their powers are as well. We still don't actually know what her main power is. We know the name of what her power is because it got accidentally mentioned, but I still don't know what it is. And I'm very curious. I still don't, I'm, I'm, I've got speculations. Well, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I have to go to the rooftop because I'm gonna get yelled at for not going, but um, I'm gonna go, catch you guys up later, goodbye. What's up? Okay, so I'm currently um 60 or 70, I don't have my, oh, I have my Kindles over there. 60, 70% into book three. Man, oh my gods. We know everything about her power now and everything that's going on with it and how it functions and the extent to which it can function. It is nut. Um, also, she's big bonded with someone else. Um, I don't think she'll end up bonding with anyone else in this third book at all. So she's now got two bonds and it's very interesting because the mind reading thingy, I was wrong. They can still like mind communicate to an extent dent but not the same which i thought was kind of cool this one definitely is focusing way more on the resistance and things like that it was nuts there are some things that were revealed that i did not expect to get revealed i will also say that um there's one of the one of her guards her main guards like for the tag team is kieran kieran black kieran that man's group i mean he was like okay in the beginning like well not really that okay but like got better but everything there with him, him, he has been, he's also now one of my favorites. He's not part of one of her bonds, but him in general, I love him to death. Um, North, North has actually gotten his way into my good graces. I know we were a little bit worried there for a hot second, but he has redeemed himself. A lot of things have happened. Still not my favorite out of all the guys. Knox, I want, I want him to do well. I want Knox to do well. I'm really rooting for him. But this man's, this man has had so much trauma that he has not even touched with a 10 foot pole. Like he is just like, nah, nah, nah. And I don't get it. I don't get it. Because like he was such a dick in the beginning and he's just in a complete 180 into a complete introvert that wants to touch no one. And I'm just like, and it is 
actually so cool like the power that she has and like the power that her bond has and all that kind of stuff living for it like it's very interesting and it's totally different perspective also the third book it's multiple perspectives finally we're finally 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 getting everyone else's perspective also griffin his sister's name is valkyrie and she goes by kiri i'm sorry is that not the dopest name in the entire world it is it is the dopest name in the entire world fight me on it also we have a little nugget his name is felix and he is a healer and he's the one who heals Ollie all the time. And I love him so much. He is hilarious and adorable. And I've loved him since I first met him. And he is just getting his way into my good graces. Um, but yeah, this this third one's been really, really interesting. I mean, it's like 500 pages, um, so <laughs> clearly. But I really loved it. It's been really good. And I'm just curious to see kind of how all of the rest of the series goes. And, uh, I'm a little bit worried, so we shall see. I will update you guys as it goes. And So we are about to head off jet skiing. There's dad that everyone loves. Um, but I want to do an update because I'm currently 30% into book four at the moment. Um, and my one update without spoilers for everything that's going on is the fact that book three actually ended on a super huge cliffhanger. So out of all the ones I've gotten, so like book one ended and I was like, mm, cliffhangery, but not a big deal. Book two ended cliffhangery, but not a big deal. Book three ended and I was like, <laughs> What just happened? I sat there for a hot second. I was like, okay. And I had to like plan things out. So I was really glad that there was finally like a solid cliffhanger that got me. So far now she has bonded to, out of how many was it, the five? Yeah, out of the five, three. So there's only two left now, including Knox, which doesn't surprise me, but we shall see. I'm excited as things are like really ramping up with the resistance and her powers and everything. So I'll catch you guys up later. Bye-bye. So it is our last day in Mexico. Um, so I'm currently halfway through book four. I'll probably finish it today. Maybe even get through like somewhat of book five. But um, I just want to do a little last clip here because I don't think I'll be filming anything before we end up leaving tomorrow. So yes, very exciting. Um, I've been having such a great time here. It has literally been like the best thing in the entire world. I've completely like detox from like social media and things like that. And I don't know, it's just been like a really, I've been waking up every single morning um, at six, 40 to um actually like watch the sunrise like i've watched the sunrise every single morning here it's been one of my favorite things to do and it's actually made such a huge difference i feel like just with my life in general and just kind of a recalculating kind of what i want my life to be and like where i am in life and i don't know it's just been like a very like a weird like contemplative meditative process and so um I kind of just want to talk about that because it's just had such a huge impact on me and I think because of that like also this book series that I'm currently reading has had such an impact on me and I feel like when you sit down and you binge a series like this during such like a pivotal time in your life when you're like really thinking about different things like it has like an even bigger impact on you um which I mean like it's kind of like getting weirdly deep I know but um i did really want to talk about that and i kind of wanted to document it as well in this vlog just because it's something that i have been going through lately um so yeah i'm gonna head down to breakfast right now um and i'll catch you guys up later probably when i'm back okay goodbye
Okay, so I am officially back from Mexico, as you can tell. I finished book four on the airplane and now I'm currently halfway through book five. You guys, you guys, you have, I cannot even begin to explain to you how much I freaking love book five. It focuses a lot more on Knox and Ollie's relationship and Knox has spent this entire series being a character that you hated and who, you know, as it was going on, you were like, oh, clearly he has his reasons, but like, what are his reasons? Like, we don't know what they are. You find it out and it literally breaks you. He's like one of my favorite characters now. And I did not expect him to become one of my favorites. Did not expect that. Obviously Gabe is one of my favorites. That is inevitable. I love that man so freaking much. He is like a little golden retriever Gabe is. Oh my gosh. But Knox, like, shocked me out of nowhere and his relationship with Ollie and just the way that it has formed over the course of book five and the way that Jay Bree has kind of just shown their relationship. Oh my god. It is just phenomenal. Phenomenal. I can't even put into words. All I will say without being spoilery is that I really love the whole concept of well, I don't love the concept of soul binding because how soul binding happens is like a whole other thing. But the way that soul binding, like that whole thing in this series, like if you know what I'm talking about, that whole scene and all those different things, it made me feel things I never expected and it completely just like broke me. Oh my God, completely broke me. Um, on a lighter note, I will say um, that you finally find out, um, what Gabe's extra magic is. So whenever Ollie bonds, like becomes bonded with one of her bonds, it gives him essentially like a power boost. And so it's been different throughout the things. And some of them are spoilery, like Gabe's power boost is spoilery. So I'm not going to tell you what his power boost is. All I will say is the fact that his power boost had me actually crackling. I crackling cackling. I said crackling. <laughs> it had me cackling. It was the funniest shit that I've read the in my entire- oh my god. So funny. Did not expect that at all. I had other guesses as to what his power boost was gonna be and I was like oh I think I know it's gonna be. Oh I'm gonna be so smart and then it happened and I sat there and I go I did not see that coming. I did not. I was so shook. I was so so shocked. It was a very good so A plus to that like did not see that coming. That was very very good. And overall this series has just been really good. I love how kind of it feels like an urban fantasy slash dystopian slash omegaverse. Cause like those are some of my favorite things like all meshed together. So it's been absolutely phenomenal in that sense. And I cannot wait to continue on with this. I probably won't update you guys again until I've actually finished the series overall, just cause I don't want to risk giving you guys any spoilers, but I'm, I'm quite terrified for finishing this, but <laughs> it's so good. And the amount of plot twists you've been getting, like literally book five has been the best one so far. Like it is absolutely so like, trust me, like if you read the first book and you're like, oh, I don't really know. Like this series honestly just keeps getting better and better and better. Like I did not expect that whatsoever. Also, we've had a lot more like fun, sexy, groupy scenes. <gasps> and the shadows, the shadows, the shadow magic, the shadow magic goes places. Like it goes places. Like it goes, goes places. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye. Hi, it's me. So I am actually officially back in New York and I wanted to update because I finished uh, the last book of the Bonds at High series while I was in the airplane and it was absolutely freaking phenomenal. Are we surprised? No. I don't want to say too much because anything else that I could possibly say would really just spoil the series. So I think that the way that I kind of want to just close out this, oh, that's not good. <laughs> the lighting is not good. It's absolutely pouring at the moment in New York. I came back to the exact opposite weather that I was in before, which is really depressing. But I absolutely adore the shit out of it. It was such a satisfying ending and I'm so happy with how it happened. And I think that it was absolutely perfect. And it's funny because I've seen like a lot of reviews online of people saying that he didn't actually like the last book, but I thought it was great. I thought it was phenomenal. It tied everything up exactly how I wanted it to. It leaves every, like, it, it was just, it was great. It was great. And Somehow we ended the series with Knox being my favorite character, which is not at all where I thought this was going to go when I started it. Still love all the guys equally, except for Knox. I, I, I really love Knox. I love Knox and his little shadow creatures are just the cutest little babies in the entire world. Oh my God, I can't even. This is definitely a series that I would 100% recommend if you are someone who likes 
anything that is a little bit fantasy and like something that is a little bit wide choose, even if you've never read, read wide choose before, this is actually a really great place to start because it is a slow burn into each of the different relationships. It has a lot of magic in it, but it explains it in a way that is very palatable for everyone. So it's not like high fantasy and too epic that it would bog people down. And the characters are really badass. The absolute plot twists that end up happening were just phenomenal. I was so shocked with how things kept on going. And I just love characters that are super badass. And that's what you get from this. And it is also spicy, but not overly spicy. Like none of the sex scenes felt like unnecessary or like they were just kind of thrown in. Like they all had a point and I love that. So close out this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like button below. If you want to see more of me, please go to my channel. And until next time, thanks for everyone. Bye-bye.